I work for an organization called REACT Africa, that is Action on Antibiotic Resistance. It's an organization that was formed in uh, 2014. That's when we started the, uh, the African Regional um, Branch. It was established in 2005 to focus on uh, the problem of antibiotic resistance and uh, to try and um, uh, bring to light that it was a major public health issue there were lives that were being lost because uh, most of the bacteria that we're dealing with uh, developed resistance uh, to the antibiotics that we have. So we, we try to build uh, or design demonstration projects uh, in various countries to generate local evidence on what can work and what cannot work so that the governments do have, a, do have an idea about what they're supposed to do. They have localized evidence based on implementation research done within their countries. So it makes life easier. If you're working in a, uh, from the government side, it makes life easier for you uh, to make decisions whether to adopt a project, to scale up a project, or, or to kind of have a certain level of buy-in uh, into a certain intervention. My reason to work has been um, supporting a project that Welcome funded, which has been on estimating the global burden of antimicrobial resistance. And this study has commonly been called the GRAM study, which is global research on antimicrobial resistance. We created a platform of engagement together with um, uh, the Global Partnership on Sustainable Development Data. Uh, uh, together with Welcome. And we were seeking to find out what Kenyans know about um, AMR, how they use or misuse uh, antibiotics, and uh, what they think can be done to address the issue of AMR within their communities. We have worked to um, raise awareness on our AMR, communicating AMR um, <clears throat> at a number of levels and um, we are working with, with a, a lot of partners at the moment and, um, and I, I think we've uh, in total been able to raise AMR from an unknown project or an unknown subject to where AMR is very well known within government circles and but the challenge is we, we, we haven't got into you know the grassroots communities where we need to go to what you're looking at is the connection between animal welfare and certain things, including things like public health, uh, things like environmental health, livelihood, food safety, food security. That's where we then connect to antimicrobial resistance because use of antibiotics or antimicrobials in the food chain tends to end up in a situation where you then have resistance developing. I'm also aware that you might know that uh, livestock production consumes the biggest amount of antibiotics. Our feeling as an organization is that it's something that should be managed because we also believe that antimicrobial resistance might not be able to go away. It's something that we'll have to learn to live with and we'll have to learn to manage it.